Facebook, now a part of daily life for most people, but not for Oliver Sell, seven months after being scammed out of £1,600 by a con man posing as his friend on the social media site, the 21-year-old still hasn't logged back in. The offender claimed to be struggling with university fees and, when Oliver sent through £200, claimed it had bounced, convincing him to do it again and again until his account was empty. Uh, the first few couple of weeks were sheer panic because obviously I didn't have any money for sort of the bills or any of the things that I needed to pay because I was absolutely broke. And because it was just before I was going to move out with a mate, like about a week, a week and a half before I was about to move out. But obviously as soon as I'd lost that, that means I had no money to move out, no money for deposits or anything. So I did have to quite let him down rather badly on that. Oliver reported the incident to his bank and the police, but because of the anonymity of the internet, no one's ever been caught and he's never seen his money again. And he isn't alone. Figures show the amount of cybercrime involving social media in the county is rising. 390 offences were recorded in 2014, 614 in 2015 and 655 last year. Of those, most were via Facebook, though there were 60 involving Twitter and 11 on Tinder. Paul Muskell is the cyber security advisor at Norfolk Police. The roles only existed for 18 months, but he says he's getting busier every day and the threat is not going to go away. Because of the dramatic increase in social media and technology, our culture hasn't really caught up with it. So, so very often is that you have this idea that if okay, you would uh, go and lock your front door or you would lock your car at night and would, or you'd walk away and not leave your valuables on, on the dashboard, etc. in the car. But in reality, with your mobile phones, our black screens that run our lives and our businesses, that's exponentially more exposed to the outside world than your car or your front door will ever be. Uh, so it's a very much a cultural change across the board. And it's that naive culture Norfolk Police are trying to target as part of Safer Internet Day. Last week, the Chief Constable posted this photo online. In a matter of days, it's been seen by more than one and a half million people, reaching as far as New York and Australia. But what parents really need to understand, and uh, teachers and practitioners and across the board, we need to understand that it's no different to... When, you, when we were told when we were younger to not talk to strangers. Yes, talking to strangers is kind of a, a thing that you ha happens online, but it's also about the awareness of what information you're sharing online, uh, what you're talking to them about, and what information you're giving away. It all presents a challenge for Norfolk schools. Here at North Walsham, they've produced an online safety guide that's now being used across the country. They hope to educate the children to stay safe online, to stop them learning the lessons the hard way, like Oliver. Lauren Hewitt, Mustard TV, Swanton Morley.